Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last couple of videos, I have been teaching you about arrays. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can declare and use multi-dimensional array in C++. So let's see how we can declare multi-dimensional array. For example, array of 2 cross 2 or 2 cross 3, how we can uh, declare this. Now for declaration, it's the same as array. So I will just name my array as my array. And then you give the square bracket and then you give the element num number of element your uh, array will contain. This till this you know. Now in order to declare a multi-dimensional array, you can or two-dimensional array you will give one more square bracket and give the value of columns. So I will, I will explain you once I've, I'm done finish writing. So I will give this and this and one more this and comma. Okay, and give the values. Okay, so now I am finished. Now, what this array means? This means this is an array which is a two dimensional array and which contains two rows and three columns right so you can think it like this so this is an array of one two three and four four and five so this array in logically will look like this it's a two dimensional array which has one and two rows and one, two and three columns, right? So in your mind, you can map this array like this. Now in order to access the value, for example, I want to print out this value. I want the index of this value, right? So how you can find the index of this value is just like coordinates, if you have studied coordinates in school, you know that this is my zero row, and I want the column or I item two of this zero row or item one. This is item one because our array starts from zero, right? So, for example, I will write C out, and I want to print this two here. So I will say my array and this will be like this and once more okay so now i want to print this value so first of all i will see which in which row this value is so this is the row number 0 so i will write 0 here and this is my column number 1 or index of the column is 1 logically it's 1 2 3 but index start from 0 0 1 2 right that's why i will write here 1 so this logically should or print 2 let's try and see whether it prints 2 or not yes it prints now for example we want to print 5 so this 5 is uh, in our 0th row and 1 so index of this row is 1 and the column index is 0 1 2 so we will write here 1 row number 1 or index of the row is 1 and the index of the column is 2 save run and you can see 5 is printed 
now there is more um, convenient way of printing this two dimensional array for example you have a bigger array 4 cross 5 array or 10 cross 10 array you cannot print logically you know you, you if you want to print it like this how you can print it let's see so you need to declare a for loop and the curly braces and once again a for loop so you need to have a nested for loop or you need to use nested for loop and in this for first for loop what I'm going to do is I will declare I or let's see I will declare it uh, logically so I will say this will contain this for loop will loop around the rows and row index will start from 0 and it will go up to row less than 2 because uh, we have only two rows and row plus plus in the same way I will declare or I will initialize for loop for column int column is equal to 0 and then this column will go up to column is less than 3 because we have three columns and column plus 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 now in order to print this value what I'm going to do is I will see out I will write C out and then I will take this uh, my array my array and then I will write here To take this row element here and paste it here and the column element here and paste it here and one more thing if you want to print just like this you need to give the space right so give space here and in order to change the, the row you need to write or change the row in the outer for loop so you just say C out and line okay now what this for nested for loop will do is it will rule it will loop around rows and then it will loop around columns and it will print all the row element and column element so for example row we go to row number 0 and we go to column number 0 first so here the values will be show me the value of 0 cross 0 so row number 0 and col column number 0 and the element 0 cross 0 in this array is this one so it will print this then 0 1 is 0 2 like this so let's try and run the program and you can see it has printed just like this 1 2 3 and 4 4 5 so by using nested for nested for loop you can print the values in the multi-dimensional array i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now